Good morning, everyone. How are you? I, I want to take this opportunity to um, welcome once again uh, the speaker uh, to Syracuse. As he pointed out to me, this is his second time coming here as speaker. Uh, and I think, did you uh, bring your secret weapon last time? No, she wasn't on the last time. Uh, this time he brought a secret uh, weapon, his daughter Taylor, who I was uh, pleased to be able to meet and uh, keep her occupied. So I, I want to. Uh, welcome him and his daughter Taylor as well. We had a very fruitful discussion talking in general about issues uh, that impact the state in general and Syracuse in particular. Uh, infrastructure, of course all of you know that that's a favorite of mine, as well as education funding and uh, issues of new infrastructure, broadband, uh, telecommunications. So it was very fruitful and I was also able to thank both uh, he and Assemblyman Mangarelli for uh, following up on a number of issues that were important to us in this budget session. There she is. This, this is Taylor, the Speaker's Secret Weapon, um, including funding Centro uh, and education funding as well. So it was a real pleasure to have both of them here and I'm sure he will be uh, no stranger to Syracuse. So with that, I, Speaker, if you'd like to come to the mic. Thank you. I want to thank uh, Mayor Miner for her uh, warm hospitality and, and to my assembly colleagues, particularly uh, Assemblyman Magarelli, for uh, inviting me back here uh, to Syracuse. Uh, for us to have a discussion of what uh, we can do for upstate New York, the funny thing is, you, you sit particularly in the urban centers, and uh, the problems that are facing Syracuse are the same problems that you know, I face back home uh, in the Bronx. Uh, we talk about education, we talk about poverty, um, trying to lift families out of poverty, and trying to improve the educational system. Uh, so, it's, you know, many people believe that there's a, a so-called difference between upstate New York and, uh, and downstate New York. The more people from different regions talk, you see that we have many of the same issues and concerns, and we'll try to address them more collectively. So, Mr. Magrath? Well... I'd just like to say thank you to uh, Mayor Miner for having us over to City Hall today and obviously to the Speaker for making the trip up to Central New York. Uh, I have a feeling he's going to be a frequent visitor and uh, I hope to see him in just a few weeks and uh, bring him around to the New York State Fair and along with him. So uh, thank you very much. So with that, we'd be happy to entertain any questions that anyone has. settlement money, I think there's been a uh, recognition that we should look to improve the infrastructure and transportation, uh, I think will continue to be one of the priorities. Um, you know, we tried to do a lot in the budget this year in terms of needs for upstate New York around infrastructure. Um, and and I, I don't see why that commitment will go away. We just determine next year's budget to try to help that along. Because if, you, if you're going to talk about providing jobs and people won't have an opportunity to get to those jobs, I think it's, you know, it's almost uh, Uh, you know, even when I was, uh, you know, I'd say a rank and file member, 
I was always concerned that I would take the lead. Uh, you know, so if there was something that was important to Syracuse, I would take Bill's uh, Bill's lead. So we always have this, in our, at least in our conference, this buy-in that you know Bill cares about what happens down in the Bronx, and I care about what happens um, in other parts of the state. But it's really trying to get a fundamental understanding of what those issues are. So then we sit there and we have you know government. The idea behind government is how do you allocate a limited amount of resources? Why don't you just do a better job of doing that? One Mayor, more question, one more. Mayor, you've been critical at times of the formal administration being set up uh, in the past. Did you guys, did that come up at all today? Did you guys discuss the governor's policies, how they're affecting this area? No, we talked about public policy and issues important to the city of Syracuse. I think, as all of you know, that my disagreements have been based on public policy and differences in public policy. Today we talked about infrastructure, both old infrastructure, roads, bridges, water mains, and also new infrastructure, uh, broadband, telecommunications, and how it's important to economic development for the city of Syracuse and central New York, and how it's also important to our cultural and social development. So as I was pleased to welcome the speaker here, but this is certainly not the first time that we've spoken about issues of public policy. Um, there was a very uh, vibrant and dynamic budget policy as well as a session where I was working with Assemblyman Magnarelli as well as uh, our representatives from the State Senate. So uh, this is just more continued discussion about the issues that we have on the ground so that we can share that with our Albany representatives and, and how we need their help to solve these problems. Mr. Speaker, I just was wondering, have you been upstate before you were, you were speaker and what were your opinions and have you had any like, I had, no, I've been to, to, to upstate before. I've, honestly, I've never been to Syracuse, but I've been to Rochester before. I, um, when I was, uh, I had a subcommittee on emerging uh, workforce. Uh, we did a hearing in Rochester. Um, I've been to Buffalo uh, many times. I actually have spoken at SUNY Oswego, so um, I, I guess we'd be a little facetious to say I, I wasn't familiar with upstate, but I was just really trying to just, um, I'd say, open the door to let people know that uh, they were, you know, when I ran for speaker, there was always this concern that when you have a speaker from the city, that all we ever care about is the city, you know. So I just, by doing this tour, I wanted to make that statement to all of the communities outside of the city of New York that the Assembly Democratic Conference is going to care about all parts of the city. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to bring her back to the, I'm going to try. If I come up on the weekend, then I'll, I'll bring her. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you all.